66-year-old Maria and husband Carlo live in Rofrano, Campania. The village is in the beautiful Cilento National Park, where there are a lot of chestnut trees. Peak chestnut picking season is in October. The couple grow, forage and preserve almost everything that they eat. And today Maria is picking some chilies to dress her triidi pasta. Her drying trays are full of figs. Sono Maria, faccio i triidi di Rofrano. Allora, farina di grano tenero, farina di grano duro e farina di castagne. Ora su un chilo la farina di castagne deve essere 250 grammi, 250 grammi di grano tenero, 500 di grano duro, semola, 400 di acqua. She pours in about 400 ml of water. Chestnut flour has no gluten. So Maria uses wheat flours to give the pasta some body and to stop it from being crumbly. She works the dough for a good 20 minutes. By the way, the music you can hear in the background is a church service being broadcast to the village. Allora, questa è riposata una mezz'oretta. Maria rolls the dough into a thin string. She snips 10 centimeter lengths and keeps them well floured. Si fa un bucatino, non bucato. Maria, ti aiuto? Si. Making pasta is best done as a group task and husband Carlo joins in. Si, si, si. followed by their son, Renato, who is happy to lend another helping hand. Carlo says the name Triidi comes from the words three fingers in the local dialect. That's one theory. The other is that the word comes from the medieval Arabic word for fresh pasta. With the men at work, Maria collects her dried peppers from her cantina and Aladdin's cave of culinary treasures. In a deep-sided frying pan, she fries some sweet peppers and one of her freshly picked chilies in some olive oil. This is the only piccante. These red peppers are thin-skinned and they're often called sinese peppers and they only need a moment's cooking, otherwise they burn. Once they're crunchy, she removes them from the pan. Using the same oil, she adds five sliced garlic cloves and some chopped parsley. <laughs> Then she crumbles in some fried red peppers and stirs all the ingredients together. This dressing is ready in minutes and Maria says she cooks it at least once a week. Meanwhile, Carlo and Renato have finished making the triidi. Questa si mette la farina per non farli attaccare. Carlo piles the pasta onto a tray and takes it into the kitchen. Maria simmers the pasta in boiling salted water for around two minutes. She scoops the cooked triidi directly into the frying pan and puts it back on the heat. She mixes the pasta with the other ingredients before transferring everything to a serving platter.
Maria adds the rest of the fried peppers or pepperoni crusco on top. There's no cheese in this dish. And the family are ready to eat. Ah, que bello! Triti! Grazie Maria. Buon Questo è un piatto che è la fine del mondo per me. Buonissimi. Al punto giusto. A me mi ha vigiato perché sono 44 anni che stiamo insieme. Sì, sì. Sì. Click subscribe for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies and make sure to come back next week when we're in Liguria with Chi Chi who makes a delicious potato pie called Polpatoni alla Genovese.